Harder on, but okay. So we're gonna stick onto one side first. You can do the other side, but okay, let's stick the one because this is tricky. Okay, so he goes for the same drill, highlight this one, this one, this one, right? This one, this one. So, okay, so now this is where he changes it. He doesn't thrust, he comes with a big slash. Okay, so when he comes with the slash, go ahead, I'm gonna cut onto the outside here. Right, so this is my first thing here. So I could either bury it and cut through, depending on where I'm. If I have to go like this, I could just use your left hand as a way to check or guide. This is the one that's going to be cutting through. Okay, so he comes in with a highline thrust. I'm sorry, highline slash. Boom, here. So then I want to come in with my number eight to the armpit. So when I go like this, what he's going to do is, we're not going to cut with the blade right now, with this one. We're not going to do that yet, right? What we're gonna do is, because we're assuming that like we're deep, meaning like I'm I'm like really tight here, he's gonna use his forearm to check my forearm down and push it down, and then bounce it back up. So when you come in for that number eight on me, yeah, I go one like this. Okay, this is what we're gonna look at. This is your side check here. Okay, so go like this. One. The reason why I want to do, the reason why I don't want to hit with a blade just for the sake of the drill, is because if I hit the blade here, then that changes what we're gonna do for the drill. I wanna end up back up here. Just for the sake of the drill, there's nothing wrong with this. This is probably better. So are you hitting Puno? Nope. Or, or wrist? Hit with a fork. We're just assuming okay. uh, mass, uh, what do you call it? Uh, mass center, not center, mass, not, no, more, cent, more surface area. Just it's just like, more like just, to, just to check it. And we're assuming like, we're very close, like I don't have the dexterity to go like you know, just uh, like get that shit out of there, right? So, Begolius, I go highline thrust, or uh, highline slash, he's gonna do your gunting, okay? Go to the outside, you go low, boom, here, and then I come back with another number one, okay? So this is the tricky part. So, he throws this, one, that goes off my forehead, goes back up with another number one, then her. That's my outside Santican or my uh, kind of like Payong or outside Kunti here. See that? And now look where I am. Go back to original drill. Thrust. That's it. Just go for a, just go for a slash on that one. One, two, three. Back to here. Okay, so the only new thing is instead of this, he goes like this. When you see this, so for the sake of being nice, like, Make it obvious, or like, you know, change it here. This is very hard to distinguish. Goes like this, goes like this, cut on the outside, bounce off, do it again, and we're here. And then we'll go back to base strip. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it see, when he does that opening movement, he's moving to the open area here again. Yeah, yeah, just like that. So, I go like this. Here, and go here, go here. That's it. So, right, instead of going like this, right, what you could do is check, check, like this, like cut, check, check, and then this is your control here. Again, try to avoid doing this, right, check, check, like this. You can, but look, look, there's nothing to protect below, right? At least this is like a little bit of um, op opposing uh, force here. What so, happens if you like turn? Yeah, you could go like this, yes. right? Yeah. That's, yeah and then, no, you, you could don't. do this too, right? This is, there's nothing like this. Boom. This is good. Whatever puts you back into this position here, right? Um, so when we're doing this drill, right? So uh, baseball here. Now because we have all these different options here, right? So like this. Okay, so good. So I could go like this, but then to say I'm on this side, I could go like this. And then he works with that. Right? I could go on the outside here. He works with that. I could go low side here. Yes, works with that. I could go boom. I could even take that thrust and I could go like this. And I still go like this. And I go like this, right? So it's like this is this is the nice thing because you have all these options, right? It makes it it should be easier versus like again. Hear me out. If we do the original thing, the original flow. I go one, two, three. One, two, three. But now I'm going, oh wait, I missed a step. Like, did I screw everyone up? But now, because you have all these options, if I miss something, I can be like, like, you can fix shit. 
you know, by adding shit, right? You go like this. Oh, was I supposed to go? No, no, you can go here because now he has options to work with. Boom. Okay? Then I go like this. Oh, what if I'm here? But what if I screw up here? I go like this. Then I, like, then you, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like you're adding more vocabulary to a sentence, right? So it's like now, before you only knew hello, hello. And then if I screw a hello up, then he screws his hello up. But now I know hello, why you screw up like back and forth, right? So that's the idea. So it's, uh, but it's,